Welcome to Friday First Cut. Today we will discuss regarding the residential status as per the Income Tax Act. It becomes important for the Income Tax Department to determine the residential status of a person. And this becomes even more important during the tax filing season. In fact, this is one of the factors based on which the taxability of an individual is determined. The term residential status has been defined as per the Income Tax Act. So we should not confuse it with the citizenship of India and the residential status. An individual may be a citizen of India, but for a particular year, he may end up being a non-resident. Similarly, a foreign citizen may end up being a resident of India for a particular financial year. The residential status of different types of person, that is, individual, firm, or company is defined differently. But today we are going to discuss regarding the residential status of an individual. For the purpose of income tax, the Income Tax Act classifies a person into the following three categories. The first, a resident. Second, a resident, not ordinary resident. And third, a non-resident. The taxability of all the above persons is determined differently. So before entering into the taxability, first let's understand the above in detail. The first one is resident. An individual will qualify as a resident if he satisfy any of the following two conditions. These are the basic conditions. The first one, he has been stayed in India for a period of 182 days or more. The second, he has been stayed during the previous four financial years for a period of 365 days or a period of 60 days in the current financial year. In the event an individual who is a citizen of India leaves India for employment, such individuals are allowed a period of 182 days instead of 60 days. However, from the financial year 2020 to 2021, this period has been reduced to 120 days or more for those people whose total income is more than 15 lakhs other than the foreign income. In another amendment applicable from financial year 2020 to 2021, a citizen of India will be deemed to be a resident in case he is not liable for tax in any other countries. This deemed residency will be applicable only in case the total income of the individual other than the foreign income exceeds rupees 15 lakhs. The next is resident and non-ordinary resident or ordinary resident. So after learning about the residential status of an individual, the next step is to determine if he is a resident and ordinary resident or a resident or non-ordinary resident. So in case he satisfies the bill, any of the below two conditions, then he will be considered as a resident and ordinary resident. The first condition is that the individual should be a resident in India in two out of the ten immediately preceding years. The second condition is that the individual should have stayed in India for 730 days out of the seven immediately preceding years. So in case any of the above one condition is not satisfied, then the individual will be a resident and not ordinary resident. From financial year 2020 to 2021, a person of Indian origin or citizen of India who leaves India for employment will be considered as a resident and ordinary resident if he stays in India for a period of 182 days or more. However, this condition of deemed residency is applicable only in case the total income other than foreign sources exceeds rupees 15 lakhs. The third one is a non-resident. An individual who neither satisfies any of the basic two conditions will be considered as a non-resident in India. Now let's discuss about the taxability of the above people. The first one is the taxability of a resident individual. So in case a person is a resident, then his global income will be taxable in India. That means the income which is earned in India as well as the income which is earned outside India will be taxable. Now let's discuss about the taxability of a non-resident and a resident and non-ordinary resident. So these people need to pay tax only on the Indian income. It means that the foreign income is not taxable in India. Also note that in case of double taxation, where if the same income is taxed in more than one country, one may resort to double taxation avoidance agreement which India must have entered into with the other country wherein the income will be taxed only one. So this was regarding the residential status. I hope you all liked this video. For more queries, please get in touch with our tax and finance expert. 
For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.